Hello. You said if I be lifted. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we lift you high. God bless you. We lift you high. Welcome. Welcome. We welcome. Come on we in the room. Come on you in the room. You said if you would be lifted. Amen. You said if you would be exalted. Tag and share. Tag and share. Tag and share. Draw. So be lifted high, be lifted high, oh, yes. be lifted high. Instead of lifting our problems, we lift you high. Yes. Yes. Instead of lifting our emotions, we lift you high. We lift you high Instead God. of lifting our thoughts, we lift you we high. Lift you high, Lord. Hallelujah. You're high above all our circumstances. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We, you we bless you, God. Yahweh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, God. We lift you high, God. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Glory to God. There's no God like Jehovah. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yes, yes. Just think about it. Think about it. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For you are Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great is our Lord. Great is our Lord. Great is our Lord. Great is our Lord. Is he great in your life today? No matter what you're going through, he's great. No matter what you've been through, he's great. He's a great God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes. Say to God, I'm telling you, God is in the place. I pray that you can feel his presence. Amen. Through the airwaves. Amen. God is a great God. No matter what you've been through, no matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. We pour out on today. I praise to him on today. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the God above all. Hallelujah. The creator of the heaven and earth, oh God. We just hallow your name on today, God. Glory to your name, oh God. We bless you on today, God. Father God, we bind every hindering spirit, oh God, that will try to come and distract from your presence on today, God. Father, I thank you right now, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, for breaking the devil's back on today, oh God, for crushing the enemy on our behalf, oh God. The Bible said they come in one way, but they go out seven ways. And Father, we thank you right now, Lord God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, neither shall it stand, oh God. Father God, we push toward your presence, Lord. We press in, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We lay aside every sin and weight that was so easy to set us on today, God. Anything that will hinder us, hallelujah, that will restrict us, that will restrain us. From getting this word on today, God, we bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Satan, you have no authority in the lives of the saints. And Father, I thank you right now, God. Oh, oh God, I thank you. How excellent is our God. Father, we bless you on today, God. We bless you on today, God. And Father, we love you all today, God. And we thank you for everyone that's tuned in, oh God. Everyone that's taking part, even now, God. Everyone that's participating wherever they may be on today, God. Watching this live on today, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your holy name, God. Glory to your name, God. Oh, I honor you all today, God. I, I step aside, oh God, and, and I, I, I lay aside, oh God, myself, oh God. Step, oh God. Have your way on today, God. Father God, be led, oh God. Father God, we will be led by your spirit on today, God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you right now, God. I deny myself, oh God. I decrease that you will increase on today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, I try to get myself together here. I'm telling you, God is real. God is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is real, saints of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to the True Life International Fellowship. Facebook Live Sunday morning worship, where our apostle, a senior leader, is Apostle Erskine Hawkins Jr. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling. You, I'm just full right now. I'm full because you just you just don't know how how wonderful it is just to get that release. Hallelujah. To feel the presence of God in the place. Ah, uh, I tell you, there's no there's no God like Jehovah. Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you that the part he said is it's his breath in our lungs. <sighs> Whoo! It's his breath in our lungs that so we can give him praise. I'll tell you that's something, saints of God. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Jesus. Whoo! Yes, God. I'm praying on today, hallelujah, for each and every one that's watching us on today. As we continue, amen, our faith over foolishness and fear. 
uh, conference, amen, and we're excited on tonight at five o'clock. Go ahead now and set your alarm clocks, whatever reminds your ringer, amen. Well, we're looking for a powerful word on tonight from Pastor Renee Johnson from Roanoke, Virginia, as we continue that series. And on today, I, I won't be before you long, but as long as God allows, amen. Is that all right? Amen. We thank God. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Our scripture reading is going to be coming. It's just two simple verses. Amen. It's uh, 1 King 18 and 20 and 18, 1 King 18 and 21. 1 Kings 18, 20 to 21. And it says, well, let me go back up to, to 18. So I'll be reading 1 Kings 18, 18 to 21. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, that he has spoken commandments of the Lord and has followed him. Follow Balaam. And this is Elijah talking to King Ahab. And in 17, the verse had asked, hey, Eli, Elijah, you come down here to trouble us? And this was Elijah's answer. And 19 says, now, therefore, send and gather me all the Israel unto Mount Carmel and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, which ate at Jezebel's table. Number 20 says, so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long halt ye between two opinions? If God be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered not a word. Again, I read 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long will you be hot between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered, not a word. And as I was uh, meditating on what we've been doing throughout this Faith Over Foolishness uh, conference, and one thing that... Um, if those that watched on Friday night that Pastor Lewis had talked about some cognitive dissonance. And in the field of psychology, cognitive dissonance occurs when a person holds contradictory beliefs, ideas, or values, and is typically experienced as a psychological stress when they participate in the action that goes against one or more of them. Simply, it's a discomfort that we feel in our minds entertaining two contradictory concepts at the same time. And when I thought about that, the scripture came to mind about how long are we going to be halted between two opinions? And I was thinking either we're going to have faith or we're going to be fearful. And I was like, wow, that's cognitive dissonance right there. Because, and in a nutshell, if you want to put it in a, in a therapy term, cognitive dissonance is just simply uh, disunity or uh, lack of peace or um, no harmony, okay? In other words, you really are tossed to and fro. You don't know which way to go. And as we've been learning throughout our conference here is that it's time for us to make a choice. So the subtopic of our conference for today is it's decision-making time. It's decision-making time. Now, how wonderful that we just, uh, the decision has been made Amen. That Joe Biden is now going to be the president elect of this country. The decision has been made. The people have voted. Uh, the thoughts are in. And we know there's going to be some controversy over that. But what I'm trying to get you to get the picture that a decision has to be made. And God is asking us, he's inviting us to, to, to 
go back in our minds and think about what has God done for you prior to today. Even though things have been tight, things have been tough, things have been rough. Some of us have gone through excruciating pain. We've been pressured. But think about all the times that God has brought you out previously. Everything that you've been through has been caused for you to be built to this day. You are built for it. Everything that you've gone through, the disappointments, the hurts, the catastrophes, this is a time for us to make a decision whether we're going to serve God or we're going to serve the devil. By serving God, we have faith in him and we believe him no matter what. The song said that he put breath in our lungs. Now, if somebody's going to put breath in your lungs, don't do you want to serve them? Wouldn't you want to serve him? We ought to, we owe God, we owe God to serve him. We owe it to God. And one thing about it, I was looking at this and it says here that fear is a great force that prompts us to act of self-preservation. Of self-preservation. Fear is in direct dissonance, disharmony against faith. Because when we're fearful, we no longer rely on God. And I like that amplified version of when it talks about Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, trust the Lord with all thy heart in the King James. But in the Amplified, it says, you got to rely on him confidently. And if you're fearful, you cannot rely on God confidently. And what I'm saying is not saying that fear won't come. But when you entertain it, when it starts playing on your mind, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can trust God for this. God, I'm going to give you this, but I'm taking that. Or you'll give it to God and we'll be ending up givers, spiritual ending, spiritual Indian givers. We have to be careful that we have made up our mind that we're going to trust God no matter what. No matter what. I've been hearing different things, amen, that it's going to get even worse. This, this COVID-19 is going to get even worse. But this is not the time for us to fear. This is not the time for us to panic. Either we're going to serve God, we're going to be faithful to God, no matter what. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, we got to muster up the faith to believe God. Faith over foolishness and faith over fear. This is your hour. This is your time. Amen. To make that decision that God, hallelujah, is your choice. Amen. And he's our final answer. Amen. You know, uh, what's that show? Who wants to be a millionaire? And they ask you the question and they say, is that your final answer? And for all of us today, Jesus Christ is our final answer. Faith is our final answer. And no matter how much you got, use it. Use what you got. The Bible says we have faith the size of a mustard seed. And a mustard seed is so small. Hallelujah. Some say you can barely see it with the naked eye. So we just need a smidgen. I think that was an apostle of Devin said we just need a smidgen. If we can just use a smidgen of faith right now. I'm telling you, we are going to come out victorious because we are more than conquerors. God has designed for us to be conquerors. God has designed for us to be the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. Hallelujah. The lender and not the borrower. We should not be in lack. Hallelujah. If we have faith in God. Now we talked about the woman the other day that, that she thought she was going to die. She was at the end of her rope. She had lost all hope. But she listened according to the, the man of God and what the word of God said in her life. He spoke to her spirit. On today, the, I'm praying that the word of God will speak to your spirit on today. Not just to your head, but to your spirit. Because see that mind, you're juggling. Hallelujah. Which way should I go? Some days, you know, uh, was it Almond Joy? Some days we feel like a nut. Sometimes we don't. Amen. We got to be steadfast. We got to be in one direction. We got to be, we got to keep moving in the way that God has designed for us to move. You know, and one thing about this is that we have to be able to live out the scripture now in this life, in this time, amen, on this November, amen, what day is this, the eighth day? 
Amen. We have to allow the scriptures to come to life in our lives. No more talking. Talk is cheap. It's time to live this thing out. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. In other words, we live this thing out by faith. No matter what, no matter how the pressure is, no matter how much you feel crushed, you got to rely on who God is in your life. Hallelujah. God is here. He said, I never leave you. I never forsake you. Amen. And we got to believe that. He told Joshua, fear not. Fear not. And so what we're telling you on today, fear not. Don't allow our de- cognitive dissonance cause us to run into foolishness. Cause us to do things that we shouldn't be doing. Amen. I'm not talking about no big sin, no little sin. I ain't, I'm not trying to put a degree on sin. What I'm saying is that we can't find ourselves in this word of God when the pressures of life come. Amen. We find ourselves in sin. The Bible says that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal what you got. He wants to steal your faith. But Jesus said, I come to give you life and that more abundantly. God wants to give you life on today. Amen. Some of us felt like we were dying. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people might have felt like they were so depressed they wanted their life. But I'm telling you, you don't have to do it. God is there for you. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't even entertain that thought. Rebuke that thought. Amen. The spirit of suicide, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's nothing God, the Bible says, for with God, nothing is impossible. It may be painful, but with God, nothing is impossible. you got to be able to reach beyond the break. Amen. Reach out to God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is saying today, hallelujah, believe in my word. My word is true. God is not a man that he should lie. The Bible says there's two immutable things. God can't lie. The Bible says he's the God that he changes not. Hallelujah. He's the same from the beginning and he'll be the same in the end. But we have to get rid of this cognitive dissonance. We have to say, God, hallelujah. The Bible says, hold fast to the profession of your faith, not wavering. This is an unwavering, unswerving, unremovable time. Hallelujah. Because we've never been in a situation like this. We've never been in a situation like this. So we don't have the handbook for this. But God already had the prescription for us in his word. We've never experienced this, but the word of God has an antidote for every thought, for every feeling, for every behavior, for every attitude. God has the answer in his word. Hallelujah. Fear over foolishness and faith over foolishness and fear. And, you know, I I was reading a story and I want to share this with you. It says Ronald Reagan had an aunt that was very kind to him. And she liked him a lot. So she took him to the shoemaker and told the shoemaker that she wanted to make a pair of custom shoes for the young Ronald Reagan. And the shoemaker asked, do you want square toes or round toes on the shoes? And he hemmed and hawed around and he said he didn't know what he wanted. The shoemaker said, that's all right. See me in a couple of days and tell me and I'll make them for you. A couple days later, the shoemaker saw him around town. He looked at him and he said, do you want square shoes or do you want round shoes? And Ronald said, I don't know. He said, well, come in in a couple of days and your shoes, they'll be ready. And Ronald Reagan said when he picked up his shoes, one shoe was square toed and one was round toed. Ronald Reagan said the incident taught him the importance of making up his mind. We need to realize that today we need to make up our mind. We don't need to have one round shoe, one round square, and one one square shoe and one round toe. This is the time where God is saying, make up your mind. It's decision time. This is decision 2020. This is decision 2020. I'm going to have faith. 
I'm not going to fear no matter what the devil tries to throw my way because this is decision 2020. Hallelujah. We have to make our election sure. Amen. When we make Jesus our choice, our election is sure. Amen. And we don't turn back on God. The Bible says he that put his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Are you fit for the kingdom of God? Hallelujah. If you have faith, you are fit for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Don't let fear push you out of the way of the kingdom of God. Amen. Don't look back. Don't be like hallelujah don't look back because just like lot's wife that look back she turned into a pillar of salt don't look back look forward look into the hills from recovering your help all of your help coming from the lord hallelujah jesus is able to supply your every need according to his riches and glory god will supply your every need why because his word says it are you willing to believe today is there anybody on this line willing to believe if you're willing to believe if you're ready to come out of cognitive this spiritual cognitive discipline i need you to type in i believe i want to know if there's anybody who really believes what god is saying and for your life today are you ready to just allow god to be who god is hallelujah god is a god of grace god is a God that cares. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. You have a God that cares. Hallelujah. You have a God that cares. A God that's concerned about your concerns. Do you believe it on today? Do you receive it on today? Do you receive it on today? Are you ready to come out of that valley of decision? Amen. Fear will cause you to be in the valley of decision. But Psalms 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And then it goes down in there. He says, yea, do I walk through the valley, the shadow of death. I will fear what? No evil. You got to know no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Neither shall it stand. God is waiting for you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, they that wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. They that wait, are you waiting on the Lord or are you trying to do it yourself? Because fear will cause you to do it yourself. Hallelujah. Fear will cause you to edge out God. Fear will cause you to say, God is taking too long. Fear will cause you to go against the word of God. The Bible says, wait on the Lord and be of a what? Good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. God is waiting to strengthen you. Will you allow him? Will you allow God today to strengthen your heart? Will you allow yourself to say without a shadow of a doubt, I believe God. I know that he's there. For with God, nothing is impossible. It might be impossible, but not with God. God is here today. He's waiting on you. This is decision 2020. This is decision 2020. No more cognitive distance. No more fighting in your head what's right or wrong. Shall I go or shall I stay? Shall I stay with God or shall I leave God? Stay with God. Stick with God. The promises of the Lord are yea and amen. God is not slack concerning his promises. God is there for you. Don't get tricked out of your blessing. Don't get tricked out of your blessing. Satan wants to trick you and trap you and ensnare you. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. And the Bible says he's a father of lies and he was a father from the, he was a liar from the beginning. Jesus Christ is asking you today to make a decision. Faith over fear and foolishness are you willing to do that today if you're willing to do that or you need some assistance with that amen we have our prayer call our line open that telephone number is 910-324-4887 decision 2020 amen faith over fear that's what I believe that, that this conference is about. Amen. Making a decision 
to walk by faith, making a decision to, to know that God can and God will, regardless of what it looks like, that we go beyond the natural eye. Amen. This conference, Faith Over Foolish, is our decision 2020. Yes. Do you have the faith today? Expect Can you reach out? Expect God to do it today. The impossible. Come on and walk out. Come on and walk out on faith today. can conquer. Your faith can conquer. With God, with God, with God, with God, with God. Yes, yes. There runs my trouble. Come on, come on. Faith to know God can solve them. We have we serve a problem solving God. Are you willing? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to trust Him on today? Are you willing to do it today? I have faith. Decision twenty twenty. That can faith over fear. Decision twenty twenty. With God, you can conquer anything. You can do it. Faith in God. Have faith in God. The unreachable. Come on, faith. You can do it. To fight the unbeatable. Are you willing to fight on today? Fight the good fight of God. Faith. The unmovable. You gotta fight for it. You gotta fight for it. You gotta fight for it. Even in your mind, you gotta fight for it. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. Make a decision. Don't have one square toe and one round toe. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. To fight the unbeatable. Yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes, God. Break the increase of faith today. Yes, increase. Decision 2020. Decision 2020. Don't have a round toe and a square toe. Amen. Decision 2020. You got to go through. And I'm telling you, I'm, I, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. If you just push, if you just press, amen, you're going to come out better on the other side. You're going to come out better on the side. If you trust God, if you have faith in God, no matter what, no matter what, God is here for you. And I'm telling you, hallelujah, I'm praying, I'm praying that you will feel the breath of God. Hallelujah. That you will give God the praise. Hallelujah. Because he deserves it. He deserves all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Decision 2020 today. Faith over foolishness. And also, we'd like to invite you to be on our prayer line. Amen. We have a prayer line. Amen. That we do seven days a week, 365 days of the year. 
Amen. That conference prayer call number is 605-313. Hallelujah. 6040. And that code is 294471 pound. 605 313 Amen. We're praying on Sunday evening at 7. Monday at noonday. Monday at 7 o'clock. Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Wednesday on noonday. Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Friday at noonday. Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. And Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. And we bring this out because prayer is so important in this time in our lives. Amen. And when you can have somebody to touch and agree with you. Amen. So if you bring up your fears, amen, we will touch and agree with you that you will walk in faith. Because we know that Satan desires for you to be fearful. Amen. But God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. You have you have a, a, a blanket, amen. A sure blanket. You have an assurance, amen, that Jesus is there for you. Amen. And we will pray with you. We will pray for you. Amen. Because we believe God like never before. We believe God. Hallelujah. Is he will tear down the, the Satan's kingdom. Amen. And we thank God. Hallelujah. For each and every one that gets on the prayer. We have faithful intercessors. Amen. They're there to pray for you and pray with you. Amen. And we believe that there's nothing too hard for God. We believe God is who we say he is, and we won't take him back. We've made a decision. We have decided in 2020 that we're going to walk by faith, and we're not going to allow the enemy to turn us back. Amen. We're not looking back. Amen. But we're moving forward in God. Regardless of the persecution, the distress, the perplexity, the confusion, the calamity, hallelujah, the pandemic, amen, we have made our decision. And our decision, 2020, is fear, faith over foolishness and fear. And I'm telling you, fear is an enemy against our faith. Now, one thing I want to say about this is that uh, we are in our mental health uh, field and that we know that if you need to get help for your mental health, it's not an attack on your faith. If you need some mental health assistance, we we say get, get the help that you need. Amen. Get the help that you need. Because we know that God works through the psychologist as well as through his word. Amen. We're talking about trained professionals that can give you some assistance. Amen. While you're going through these turbulent times. Amen. But my first resource. My most trusted resource is the word of God and God himself. Amen. And I thank God for each and every one being on here today. And if you would like to sow into this word, if you would like to sow into True Life International Fellowship, we're still, amen, moving behind the scenes. Amen. We still have our overseas uh, missions, our true life over there that, that's needing assistance, amen, and people here that's needing assistance, so please, amen, give on today. Give out of the abundance of your heart, amen. We have our cash app, which is dollar sign, T-L-I-F-M. Again, that's dollar sign, T-L-I-F-M. Or you can pay by PayPal. I mean, you can go to our website, True Life. Uh, IFM.com and check under the more tab. Also, you can pay debit card over the telephone, which is 910-324-4887. And I want to say thank you in advance for each and every one of you with your liberal giving. Amen. Thank you for those that want to see, amen, this ministry go forward. Amen. We love our our members, amen, we thank God for you. We have some of the True Life International Fellowship 
Ministries. We have some of the best members here on this side of heaven. And we love each and every one on behalf of myself and Apostle Hawkins. We love each and every one of you. We thank God for our True Life International Fellowship Ministries in Kenya, Africa. Amen. In Kakamega. Amen. In Nairobi. Amen. We thank God for you all. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we thank God for you. And I'm so excited. Amen. Amen. The, the song said, we come this far by faith. And I tell you, i got to share this a little bit. That is Apostle Hawkins' favorite song. Amen. When I met him, he was singing that. Amen. And he believes that. I, I thank God for the, uh, the, one of the producers putting that song up. This is his song. Amen. Turn it up, Micaiah, for your daddy. Turn that song up. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yes. Come on and pray the one you sing. Yes. Get excited. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Are you willing to trust him until you die? This is serious. Decision 2020. I'm on a trust him. Yes. Yes. I'm on trust him no matter what. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Until I die. Yes. I'm sold out. I'm sold out. Hallelujah. Yes. Now on the battlefield. Yes. It's a fight. It's a fight for real. This is real. It's a fight. But I'm standing on the battlefield. Hallelujah. Slave over foolishness and fear. Hallelujah. No more toxic sickness. Yes. Woo. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes. I stand. Are you standing today? Are you standing today? Come on and stay with me. Come on, I need somebody to walk with me on this field, on this field, during this battle. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. See everybody right. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. No matter what you're going through, you still see everybody right. Hallelujah. You don't have to be mean, like you're nasty. Hallelujah. By faith, amen. When you got faith in God, you treat everybody right. Hallelujah. You don't have to blame game and blame the world. You don't have to you got faith and you got fairy. Yes, God. Yeah. Hey. I'm telling you, I'm getting excited now. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, God. Well, thanks to God. That's, that's our time for today. I'm telling you, we came in worshiping and we're going out praising. Hallelujah, because this is Decision 2020. We have decided to have faith over foolishness and fear. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us. Please join us today. Amen. At 5 o'clock p.m., set your alarms, set your clocks, get your phones, get your timers. Amen. We're going to have an exciting time. Our speaker is going to be Pastor Renee Johnson. From Roanoke, Virginia. Hallelujah. We also want to say happy birthday to all of the November birthday. True life. We have a lot of November birthdays. Hallelujah. So we just thank God. Amen. For our, our own Dick and James. He was 83 years old on the 6th of November. Our oldest member. Amen. We thank God for allowing him to see another birthday. Amen. Elder Tanya. Ah, yes. Thank God for her. Thank you for being on the line. Hallelujah. Uh, Mother Janice. 
birthday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I thank God my birthday is coming up on the 12th of November. Amen. I'm looking for God. I pray you allow me to see another birthday. I'm looking forward to that. Amen. And so it's just an exciting time. Hallelujah. I, I had a great time with you all. But one thing about this, we no longer have to be in spiritual cognitive dissonance. Hallelujah. Please remember to trust God. Decision 2020. Hallelujah. It's now. Amen. During this pandemic. We also want to say um, if there's anybody that's celebrating an anniversary, want to say happy anniversary to all those that are celebrating any anniversaries during this month. Amen. And so again, I, I, I tell you, I, I'm happy down to my sanctified toes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Be a super spreader and share this broadcast. Amen. Faith over foolishness and fear. God bless you. We love you.